In this video, you are going to learn about how to add or delete multiple columns in a Google document. So if that is something you are interested in, then keep on watching. Hi, I'm Dr. Honya Obed and you're welcome to the Digital School Academy channel. If this happens to be your first time here, note that on this channel, we put out a lot of videos relating to various tech, software, mobile apps, and various digital skills as well. If you are interested in such things, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to also hit the bell icon so that anytime we release a new video, you will be duly notified. In this video, as I mentioned earlier on, we are looking at how to create multiple columns in a document in Google Docs. So let's get into the computer and I'll show you how to create these multiple columns in a Google Doc. So this is a sample Google Doc that I'm going to use for this lesson. And as you can see, this is a, by default a portrait one column document. And that's what almost everyone will have when you are creating it. But to create your columns or to generate the columns in such a document, you have to decide whether you want it for the whole page that you want to make it into a column or just some portion. So if it is everything that you want to make into two columns, for instance, then you would have to probably select everything, selecting everything using control A, control A to select everything, then go to format. And the format look for columns then under columns choose the second one which separates everything into two columns so as you can see here but maybe that is not exactly what you are looking for you are just looking for a way to add two columns to a specific part so for instance if i want to add two columns to just the first page then i don't need to select everything but i need to make sure that my cursor is within the page that I want to convert to two columns. So if the case is within the first page and I go to formats, go to columns, then I choose the second one. It's going to create two columns in just the first page. Okay. So in the instance where you don't want it for the whole first page, but just some portion, you can equally select that portion. So if it is the latter part of the first page that I want, I've selected that right now. Then go to formats, go to columns and choose the specific type of columns that you want. So two columns in this case. And as you can see, we have done just that. All right. The next thing you want to ask is how do you format it or how, which other changes are there that you can do? So let's pay attention to it. Let's assume I want to create another one with this part from here to here. Go to formats, columns. So as you can see, you can create either two columns or three columns. But go to more options this time around, more options. Then the additional thing that you can do here is to add a line in between the columns. Okay. So when you create a column, do you want to separate them with a line? If yes, then you take this one line between columns. Then you can equally decide to increase or decrease the spacing between these two columns. Then you can select the number of columns here as well. Click apply to apply them so the difference here is that the very first one that we had there was no line in between them but here we have a line in between them so this is a simple way to create it but how do you then remove it so it is actually the opposite of creating it to remove the two columns here i'll have to select that portion go back to format and columns then i'll choose the actual column i want so if I no longer want two columns, then it means I have to choose the one column, which is this. So select that and you are back to how you started. So that is how to create or remove columns in Google Docs. I hope you've learned something new from this video. If you enjoyed the video, give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.